Mike Benjamin, who is going to give you the welcome this evening. Parents, teachers, relatives, and friends, we would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2002. We want to thank you for coming tonight and for supporting us this whole time. This is something we as a class have been looking forward to for 12 years, and now that it's here, we're glad to be sharing it with you. It seems like just yesterday that we were sitting at our desks at our elementary school, not a care in the world, looking out the window and dreaming of what it would be like to be in middle school and high school. Now middle school and high school have flown out that very window. It's funny how fast time flies. Don't try stopping it or slowing it down. Just worry about making the, making the most of the time you've got. We just want to thank you again for coming tonight, and we hope you enjoy the program. Thank you, and God bless.
while the students are returning to the, uh, the group, I'd like to introduce you to the people who are sitting on the uh, stage here in front. I'm going to start on your left, uh, Dr. Dave Webb, who is our assistant principal. We have also uh, our featured speaker this evening, Mr. Dave Liu. We have... I'd like to introduce also our superintendent of schools, Dr. Marianne Nelson. And uh, I, why don't you stand up so we can see who you are, yeah. And then I'd like to introduce the school board, uh, Larry Johnson, Kim Sampson, Fred Bischke, Greg Rosholt, Sandra Rudolph, and Gordon Backlund. I would like to introduce at this time the first student speaker for the class of 2002, Tawny Allard. Tawny. The time has finally come. Fellow seniors, we are now on our own. It's time to take down our parking permits and clean out our lockers one last time. Tonight is our graduation, a time to celebrate and end to a journey. Tonight is our commencement, the beginning of a new course. We've said goodbye to our teachers, signed yearbooks, paid our fines. Now we celebrate 13 years of progress and friendship and we look forward to achieving our goals as we embark on a new odyssey. We've seen our last dance. We've yet to experience our first college lecture. We've heard our last announcements. We've played in our last basketball game. And now we are ready to start this game of life. The friendships we made with teachers, the lessons we learned from friends, the hard times and high times with our peers and families have culminated into our social development. Whether it's the time you told a girl you liked her, or the time you and your friends were alluded to in the Fridley Focus. There are times in high school, there are moments in high school that have shaped your personality and developed your identity. It's those moments that are embedded in our character and define who we are. <laughs> Before we say goodbye for what could very well be the last time, I would like to share with you some words of wisdom that have been told to me throughout my school career. First and foremost, Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Learn that you can't make anyone love you. You have to love yourself. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund. Maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. But you never know when either one might run out. <laughs> know that it takes years to build trust and only a few seconds to destroy it. Understand that a rich person is not the one who has the most, but the person that needs the least. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do one thing every day that scares you. Remember the compliments you receive. Forget the insults. And if you succeed in doing this, maybe you could explain it to the rest of us. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts, and don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Respect your elders. Learn to control your attitude, or your attitude will control you. Learn that what is most valuable is not what you have in your life, but who you have in your life. Learn it is not good to compare yourself to others. There will be people better and worse than you are. Learn it is okay when two people look at the same thing and see something totally different. Learn that you are the master of what you keep and a slave to what you say. Accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise, politicians will philander, and you too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. <laughs> don't congratulate yourself too much, but don't berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance, but so are everybody else's. Know your limits. Everyone is something but no one is everything. Have the ability to sacrifice who you are for who you could be. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. 
I can guarantee you that one other thing is true, class of 2002. People will forget what you said, they will forget what you did, but they will never forget the way that you made them feel. Keep this in mind as you go forward on your journey. Good luck with your journey. And for those of you who still feel unprepared, Dr. Seuss can best reassure you. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Congratulations to the class of 2002. Thank you, ver thank you very much, Tani. Thank you very much. Tony, there, there it goes. Okay, that may be broken. Thank you very much. Uh, next speaker from the class is Katie Sorella. Katie. class of 2002. Our generation has experienced the highest level of luxury ever known to have existed. Our elders are living longer than ever known to mankind. Our technology continues to grow with leaps and bounds. Our medicines are more refined and we continue to improve and expand our knowledge in the world we live in today. However, the challenges that our generation will face in this lifetime have probably not begun to originate yet. We need to recognize that we need to continue our education. And even though we are graduating today, remember that it is only a rite of passage and it is only our first. Challenges that we will face are completing post-secondary education, reaching economic independence, find lasting marriages, and experience childbearing and child rearing, the typical challenges that all generations face in life. What will be the unimaginable in our life? Will it be overwhelming and intrusive technology, pollution and terrorism of sinister themes, or will we be able to cure prejudices based on skin color, religion, economic class, or physical shortcomings? We have only lived as a child. A child's nature is to focus on itself. Me, me, me. The questions grow more mature. Will I be rich? Will I be successful? Will I be happy? Will I be content? Will I be loved? But graduation should transform the question of me, myself, and I to the question of you, them, and us. If I could give you a perspective to live by, it would keep one word in mind. That word is balance. The nature we live in, we find opposite forces interacting with each other. Good and bad, happiness and sadness, hope and despair, 
love, and fear. Without balance, we will develop a narrow perspective and live a limited lifestyle. I once read a quote that had such a profound impact on me. And I'd like to tell you it. Richard Bach once said, when we come to the last moment of this lifetime and we look back across it, the only thing that's going to matter is what is the quality of our love. As a child, I learned that if someone did or said something bad, it was usually because they had little hope they were sad. However, I believe that the positive answer to our question will be found with love. We need love, but it is essential that we give love. That is how you and I will find our way. All we need is love. We are the class of 2002. May your life be filled with love. Thank you. Good evening. I'd like to add my welcome to all of you who have honored the graduates tonight by being here to witness their commencement from Fridley High School. This is our 44th annual Fridley High School commencement. And wow, what words of wisdom we've had from our student speakers. Thank you so much, Tani and Catherine. I'd like to tell you a little bit about how Dave Liu became the commencement speaker on behalf of faculty tonight. Several weeks ago, Principal John Deere and I received a letter. And it was a letter sent, written by a group of seniors who said in a very articulate way that this year, instead of inviting a past graduate to come back to Fridley to address the class, how about this year we have one of our teachers talk to us? And in that letter, they said that we would like to nominate a teacher from Fridley High School, one that they said they care so much about because this teacher cares so much about them. He is an excellent teacher. He reaches out to us. He understands us. He makes us try to do better. He always encourages us in everything we do to be our best. And that teacher, of course, is David Liu. So John Deere, Principal John Deere, spoke to all of you as a senior class, and I'm told by acclamation you said, yeah, we want Dave Liu to be our speaker. In typical humble style, Dave Liu actually had to think long and hard before he said yes. And in fact, this morning, as he and I were standing up there watching the seniors go through their rehearsal for tonight, he said, Marianne, please don't do a long and flowery introduction. I'm just one of the many teachers here who care about these graduates, and I'm honored to be able to speak on behalf of all of the teachers of Fridley. So Dave, you can relax. I'm, I'm not going to make this long and flowery, but I do want to tell a little story to all of you. Right before this commencement begins, we gather, the Board of Education and I and Dave Lou in a conference room, and David was one of the last to come in, and he comes in because he looks really spiffy tonight. And, whoa, David, how you doing? And he happened to share, I'm feeling a little nervous. Well, each of the board members proceeded to give him teasing about, you know, well, you got to do this, and let's adjust you. And I think when Greg Rossold finally said, don't worry, David, the whole commencement hinges on your speech, 
David said, listen, I have one job to do tonight, and if I fall over and faint out of nervousness, one of you has to get up there and give that speech. So they got kind of quiet. I was talking the other day with a senior, Mike Benjamin, and he happened to say how happy the graduates are that Dave Liu agreed to speak. And he said, you know, I wrote a poem and gave it to Mr. Liu, and I thought, ha, can I have a copy? So, Mike, with your... Okay, I'm going to try to read this, a poem written to Mr. Liu from one of his students, but it pretty much says what I think a lot of them feel. There is a teacher that I most admire. He likes to hunt. He likes to fish. At one time, he was a squire. Of his past, we know little about, but he's the best teacher without a doubt. For new friends, he's always searching, even if they're grisly little urchins. <laughs> Inside joke. Great things his grandpa said he'd do. He's done that and more by helping me and you. He likes to have fun. He likes to play jokes. Unlike the witches, though, his teaching isn't a hoax. He's taught us a few things about this big old world, like how to ring a bell and how to treat a girl. <laughs> as this is said, it is a big thank you. There is a teacher I most admire. His name is Mr. Liu. You will be missed when you retire. Thank you, all of your students. Pretty neat, huh? Thanks, Mike. So as Dave Liu walks to the platform, will all of you honor his request that he be recognized as one of many teachers, and at the same time that he comes forward, would all of the Fridley teachers who are here stand up in honor of your colleague, David, so we can applaud all of you. All of the teachers from Fridley, all grade levels, will you please stand up? I see a whole group back there. Come on, stand up. <laughs> David Liu. job and I was just proud of them and uh, I hope my speech lives up to just uh, half of what they what they had to say. Congratulations to all of you. It was very nice. Fellow faculty, school board members, administrators, Dr. Nelson, parents, guardians, and other interested people. And you, class of 2002, I am indeed humbled and honored to give this address tonight to you. I know, because I was part of it, that you learned by intuition, you learned by perception, you learned by thinking, and you learned by doing. But it's a great challenge tonight for me to say something that's going to tie all that together and really serve appropriate for this important moment. You know, if this was my classroom, it would be easy. Because right now, all of you would be asking me to tell you a story. Anything, just the story so that you could whittle the time away. <laughs> and so in between the great literature of England, or of William Shakespeare's plays, and of Hemingway and Faulkner and who else, out would come the South Dakota maniac story, <laughs> the Blue Earth Monster story, the prom story, stories about my grandma Rogich, 
my future son-in-law, Spear. <laughs> my new little puppy, Plum. <laughs> and all those other things I told you about. And thank goodness, <laughs> the bell of knowledge would ring and we would be bat brought back to Macbeth and Hamlet and King Lear, but perhaps with just a little different perspective. You know what, kids? Tonight, my stories are not important. Tonight, it is your story that is important. Tonight is another chapter in that great adventure that you're about to live. And you know what, if I was sitting there I know you have a lot of things on your mind, but I would be asking the question, I wonder where my story is going to take me. I wonder where my destiny is going to be. You know, when I was a freshman in college, a long time ago, a classmate came up and she gave me a poem. And I think it's apropos for this evening. It was called Destiny. And the words went something like this. Upon the precipice of the sea, I now stand. Will I fall or will I fly? You might be asking yourself the question, will you fall or will you fly? And that brings me back to your story. Because you all have a story. As individuals, you have a story. You were raised by separate people, separate families, that is. By moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, uncles, aunts, stepmoms, stepdads, guardians. These were the people that first instilled in you the moral and ethical values, the ideas of right from wrong, and of obligation and responsibility. And let me tell you something. If you were lucky, I mean really lucky, you were loved by these people. And they love you more than anybody else in the world. And as individual graduates, I would like you to recognize the effort, sacrifice, and love that they have given so that you could be sitting here this great moment. And if you get time tonight, find them in the bleachers. Get, establish eye contact with them. Or if not, see them out in the hall after. Give them a hug before that all-night party. And let them know that you love them and are as proud of them as they are of you tonight. Because it was them who first gave you the wings that are going to allow you to fly. Also, as individuals tonight, you bring your own personal goals and dreams with you. Perhaps some of you see yourselves as highly professional people someday. You're going to be nurses. You're going to be engineers. You're going to be doctors and business people. You're going to be mechanics, carpenters, electricians. And if you're extremely lucky, some of you will be school teachers. You're going to be actors, and artists, and writers. And if you're extremely lucky, you're going to be parents someday. These chapters in your story have not been lived, but are about to be lived as you go on with your life. Also, Besides individuals, as a class, you have a story. You know, you have done extremely well here at Fridley. Here, right here, you have learned the math. You have read the literature. You have rediscovered the history. You have done the scientific experiments. You have investigated the business world. You have written the essays and you have worked with the computers and you also sang the songs you've played the music 
You painted and you sculpted. Why, you even painted a hallway down there that leaves a legacy of your story. And you designed and built a house. You have learned by intuition. You have learned by perception. You have learned by thinking. And you have learned by doing. Outside the classroom, you've done fairly well too. You have kicked the soccer ball. You have run with the football. If it's not my mistake, you have also scored more points than your opponents with the basketball. I'm trying to think of the other sports. Oh yeah, I got them. <laughs> you smashed the tennis ball, the golf ball, the hockey puck. You have wrestled, dived, and swum, and you've run far, and you have fa run fast. And if I'm not mistaken, you've played softball just a little bit better than your opponents too, haven't you? <laughs> Once again, you have learned by intuition. You have learned by perception. You have learned by thinking and you have learned by doing. We as educators and administrators, from those fine elementary schools to the fine middle school to the high school, we have taught you, we have guided you, we have helped you, and tonight we applaud you. Congratulations. And I want you to know that wherever you go, wherever you go or how far you fly, you will always have a cheering section back here in the land of black and gold. So you see, this has everything to do with your story and nothing to do with my stories tonight. And I have one more thing to tell you, to answer the question once and for all whether you will fly or fall. I have to give you one more quote before you go. Of course, it's Shakespeare. <laughs> In one of his plays, he tells a character, one of the characters is telling his son before he goes on a journey and giving him some last minute advice. We as educators sometimes see you, believe it or not, as our sons and daughters, and we would all like to give you some last minute advice. The quote goes like this, above all, to thine own self, be true. Because of your personal family stories, because of the experiences you have learned here at high school, you can now look for the truth within yourself. You have learned by intuition. You have learned by perception. You have learned by thinking. And you have learned by doing, oh no class, you're not going to fall, but rather you're going to have the opportunity to reach great heights and to live remarkable stories. And so tonight, kids, enjoy the moment. Realize your achievements and your opportunities. Fear not your falls or your depressions. But look within for the strength, the courage, and the loyalty to live your lives to the fullest. You are remarkable, class of 2002, because you are remarkable people. We as educators applaud you. And I personally want to thank you for allowing me to say this to you. May your stories take you wherever you go, and may you always find great happiness and peace.
Thank you very much, Mr. Liu. Um, at this time, I would also like to recognize uh, those people who have spent the last four years in your classrooms with you, uh, your teachers. Uh, once again, uh, faculty members who are present, would you please stand uh, and let us recognize you uh, for the work that you've done with these young people. Please stand again. In addition to that, we're going to uh, miss three of our faculty members who are retiring this year, and I would like to introduce them. I'm not sure that they're all present. Uh, Clyde Riddle, Joel Burkus. Mr. Burkus, are you here? He was handing out those marvelous ties. Where is he at? And Ms. Grace Voss, Grace Voss. Thank you very much, all of you. You spent many long years and uh, doing a marvelous job uh, working with the young people here in Fridley. I would like to now focus on the class of 2002, and I would like to introduce uh, the co-valedictorians, or the co-number one students in the class, and there are five of them. Each of these five young men and women have, through their career here at Fridley High School, scored a perfect grade point average of 4.0. That means over four years and a total of 64 classes uh, scored an A in every single one of them. And I'd like to honor them tonight. These five young people are, and would you please stand as I call your name, Casey Johnson, Katie, Katie Royce, Mark Seeloff, Sarah Spencer, and Josh Wyden. If you'd remain standing, I want you to be joined by all of those wearing a stole tonight. These are the students who are graduating with highest honors. Would those students please stand and join your student, fellow students. I'd also like to introduce those who have graduated with high honors. Those are the students who have graduated with a grade point of 3.5 to a 3.74. Would those students please stand? And finally, would those students who are graduating with honors from a 3.0 to a 3.49, would you please stand? Would the entire class at this time please stand? <laughs> members of the Board of Education and Superintendent Nelson, the members of this class have fulfilled all the requirements for graduation from this school. As set forth by the State Board of Education, and the Board of Education of Fridley School District 14. In recognition of this achievement, they are entitled to their diplomas, diplomas as graduates of Fridley High School. We seek the cooperation of all guests this evening by withholding your applause and cheers until the entire class has been presented. Chairman Larry Johnson, at this time I will call the class of 2002 to the platform to receive their diplomas. You may be seated except for the first row. Brian. Mr. Johnson is being assisted by Mr. Rochel and Ms. Sampson. Brian Ahrens.
Joseph Isawa. Tani Allard. Stephen Baglio. Melissa Bounty. Lane Baxton. Beth Behrens. Cassandra Bell. Stephanie Bankson. Michael Benjamin. Rachel Bickford. John Blank. Emily Blagan. Kimberly Bourne. John Brom. Amanda Brandt. Mark Brewston. Amy Broughton. Melissa Brown. Emily Bruce. Zoran Buxa. Joanne Collegio. Rebecca, Rebecca Cameron. Alicia Cermak. Jackie Chan. Amber Chavez. Jennifer Kristen. Ashley Christensen. Brenna Kogel. Carlos Coker. Fabio Cuentas. Cassandra Cutler. Maxwell Dahl. Tessa Dale. Navita Diraj. Matthew DePoint. Danny Deep. Megan Donnelly. Siobhan Early. Blair Eisenbrown. Christopher Elliott. Tiffany Elliott. Aaron Ellis. Jose Escobar. Peter Ewell. Aaron Faber. Ellie Filer. Janelle Fisher. Sarah Fisher. Melissa Forkron. Jeffrey French. Brandy Gasner. Thomas Gaynor. Shonda Geisler. Joanne Janoski. Jolene Garrity. Philip Goldsberry. Mary Graves. Bradley Greenwald. Corinne Gustafson. Elena Hansen. Stephen Heinz. Davina Helton. Andrea Hendricks. Anthony Hinderer. Julie Holcher. Lenise Jackson. Kelly Jasper. Casey Johnson. Jessica Johnson. Lee Johnson. 
Lindsay Johnson. Sarah Johnson. Veronica Johnson. Michelle Jones. Brandon Kelsenberg. John Kitlinski. Benjamin Kleismith. Christina Kowal. Peter Lackner. Hannah Lane. Julie Larson. Lindsay Larson. Janelle LeClaire. Victor Levkovich. Renee Lilly. Desiree Lilo. Jamie Lindahl. Jessica Lindstrom. Jennifer Latecki. Patricia Longen. Sarah Lovelace. DJ Lundberg. Carrie Manier. Alexis Marsh. Joseph Mason. Lindsay Matelski. Gabriel Matasovic. Matthew McCara. Nicole McChristian. Benjamin, Benjamin McDonald. Marcus Mihelic. Christopher Militic. Natalie Moore. Enrique Marino. Robert Morris. Jessica Nagovsky. Tamu Narhi. Erica Nelson. Veronica Newcomer. Jay Nordstrom. Rita Oketch. Amber Olivas. Nelson Opari Otto. Dwayne Payne. Michelle Pika. Nicholas Peterson. Grant Prentice. Cassandra Puppy. Michael Reeves, Jr. Julie Regan. Mel Ryman. Jody Robinson. John, uh, Christopher Rod John Rockenberg. Christopher Rogers. Catherine Royth. Peter Roschel. Jennifer Rost. Christopher Rylicky. Catherine Sorella. Amy Schneider. Brian Segner. William Celine. Tani Shane. Lysanius Shelby. Mark Seeloff. Kenneth Smith. Emily Smooter. David Solberg. Sarah Spencer. Tyler Swanson. Tracy Temple. Jessica Thomas. Joseph Thorson. 
Karma Tibbetts. Benjamin Trasic. Jerome Trailer. John Trojanowski. Anthony Tropp. Carrie Vanderwerf. Jonathan Vang. Salima Wahidi. Ann Wallace. Lowell, Lowell Webb. Joseph Wedland. Kevin Welter. Adam White. Courtney White. Joshua Wyden. Bradley Wilkin. Stephen Wolf. Adam Wood. Eric Wood. Mai Yang. Pa Yang. Pao Yang. Genevieve Young. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2002. Skirt. 